Fancy intro music, yeah! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do a video that you have actually asked for. If you remember, there is a room in my Discord for you to ask all content creators, not just me. If you want DJ to see it, no one shall, Fortis, anybody, it's there. But I took this one because honestly, I was thinking about it and it's been a long time since we had this discussion. And that discussion is what officers to spend badges on. Now, I was really surprised to look back and find that it's been like 14 months since I've made a video on this. I actually did this last year back in May of 2020. And I was just like, Wow, it's insane how time flies and so much has changed since then. The game has made sourcing officer badges far easier than it was at the time of that video. Not just through events, but you can actually source them through your store now, your faction store. And now we also have away missions that play a bigger part in how we make our choices in upgrading these officers to even a point where us at the officer tool, which you'll see the officer tool referenced several times in this video. And if you haven't checked it out, it's a fantastic tool for you to organize your stuff and get better link down in the description below. But when you've got all this stuff now popping up, it changes how you value certain things in the game. So for example, let me throw up in the background for those who aren't familiar, as you're going through your discovery, well, you can scroll down through your faction tab and you'll notice that you can actually buy badges with them. A way to actually source badges that is new, fresh, and something that before did not exist. And hey, not even a cooldown? What kind of craziness is this? And now I've got them in obviously all three variants of my factions, but I've only got one currency. And even if you're not able to get extreme amounts of this at any given time, it is a way to source these that we never had before. Combine that with the fact that a lot of battle passes pay these out and everything, it's easier to get them now than ever. Now, it's still not one of those things where if you're free to play, you're just like, ha! <laughs> I'm swimming in them. No, but it is still something where you can reasonably get them and reasonably obtain them. So what we're going to do in this video is we're actually going to go over all the officers that really should be the focus for you to max and use badges on if that applies. Now, keep in mind that commons aren't really going to count there, but I will mention the commons that you want to max simply for their usefulness. We're also going to talk about you know, the point of adding badges to some officers, if for no other reason than for their stat uh, growth because you want to use them for away missions. So we're going to start including that in this video as well. Now, remember, this is probably the least used function of the officer tool, but one of my favorite is myself, Ripper, who just designed the FTFC.space, a site that you, many of you have been using, DJ, Harley, Gregor, uh, Stewie, all of us, a uh, lube, sat down and ranked these officers by value with three different categories. So if you're interested in that, it's in the officer tool and you'll see that referenced here. But let's start with the basics of so let's start with stats so we're going to throw first up on the screen health stat so what you're seeing right now is if you were to rank the officers at their maximum level without counting researches and everything who had the highest health values this is what you have you've got 10 of 10 charvenic 6 of 10 nero eurydice carol rima harrison livis khan 2 of 10 5 of 10 pike now all of that aside that automatically puts a lot of those officers on the high list. Now, I will say for you as a free-to-play player, especially take note of the rares. Those are the easiest ones to work on, particularly the Rima, Pan, uh, Navi crew that we'll talk about. We always talk about you wanting to max in that augment tree because Rima's giving you a very high health stat, higher than a con or a 5 of 10. Now, obviously, epics are going to have better, and that's just common sense. They're epic. But at the same time, you can have a lot of stats. For example, say, look at my Spock here. My Spock is maxed out. Now, he's not on a ship. He's currently doing an away mission, so he shows his normal stats. But look at the defensive numbers, which means let's bring up the next chart defensive stats even though spock has a lot of defense he's not one of the highest ones in the game but when you talk about mixing you know stats plus usefulness spock is obviously a character that you want to max out and i'll show you that list in towards the end of the video but here's for defense the highest is five of ten marcus kirk tua spock jordy laforge mud Giorgio, navi 610 mitchell lorca Jean-Luc Picard data. So there's you, what, 12 names there. Now, some of those are not easy to procure. Jean-Luc Picard, even though he's got a high defense stat, in my opinion, defense is the least important of the three. The only really using it for officers. And a little, I mean, obviously you want all of them to reach their maximum potential for your ship, but just in general, unless an officer is using them, you want to focus on health, then attack, or sometimes the PVP attack first for that officer bonus. But in general, you see the, the, 
levels there. So the highest is 5 of 10. You'll notice the Borg are a very common theme here. They have insane stats. They're also very hard to upgrade. You need independent credits. You need the active nano probes. So it's hard to do, but if you can, you get a lot of value. Then Kirk, very easy to max out in terms of compared to the others. He's still an epic. It's still going to take you forever, especially as a free-to-play. Please don't confuse what I'm saying as it's just you could do it in a couple weeks. But of the names listed, Kirk is the easiest, and there's a high defensive stat there. Let's move on to the next one here, where we got focusing on attack. Now, this might be the most important, simply based on you have so many officers that will use this, plus getting that 300%. Health and attack are my two tops. There's only three, but they're at the top. Kang, Khan, Crash. Now, the reason I say this may be the most important is it's the easiest one to do. Kang, Khan, Crash are all available to everybody very early. You know, you look at Kang, we talk about getting that in transporter patterns. You look at Crass, you'll get that through premium and ultra pools, and you'll get Kang from there. And then Khan also pulls plus Swarm Sunday. Level 28 plus, everybody starts getting Khan every Swarm Sunday. So these are very easy to level up while also having very good stats. And if you notice Khan, he's got a good attack stat and a good health stat. So even if you don't use him for PvP at the time, you grab him for Armadas, you grab him for PvP, away missions. The value of Khan has actually gone in up even more because of away missions and the way that his stats stack. And that's just the nature of him being awesome. And even with me, I've got a lot of rares max, still have not maxed my first epic. I'm close on one, but still have not fully maxed. But my con uh, will be tier four here in the next coming days, and we'll see a significant stat increase. But even at tier three, 2,700. Granted, he's on a ship right now. So remember, there's bonuses being applied, and then 1,600. But you see the very high stats. Now, keep in mind, i got to repeat this. What you see on the screen is not included in the researches that you have. So anything that you have that increases your officer abilities, I'm not putting in here. Prime officers, the like five away, six away research missions that improve the stats. You know, the things that you'll find in the galaxy tree. All those will add to what the officers are displaying as and improve how they actually perform on ships. Let's move on to the next one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you our current ranking system. So I'm going to take the first three pages, basically everybody that has a one or a one and a half ranking. And what you're seeing is how we have as a group of content creators who have got, sadly, tens of thousands of hours in this game. I know me, myself, running all the accounts that I do, probably pretty shameful to admit that they say that you're a master if you reach 10,000 hours in something. I'm getting... But anyway, Khan at the very top, 5 of 10, Yuki, Giorgio, Kirk, Sharvenik, Chin. Now, Chin is there not for stats, but because Chin is probably the most important individual hostile grinder in the game when paired with Pike Moreau or paired with Picard Beverly or Cadet Ahura, Cadet McCoy or TNG LaForge, TNG Crusher. No matter what you're using for, extremely important overall. And then you got Tau, Bone, Spock, Harrison, and then Cadet, Uhura, and Next Gen LaForge to round out the first set of upgrade value being number one, as in you want to max these out. Next page would be Next Gen LaForge, Talon, Cadet McCoy, Next Gen Crusher, Cadet Scotty, Lorca, Tyler, 2 of 10, Marcus, Decius, TOS, and Yara Nahora. Uhura. Why not I said that? wrong anyway so Pring and Stan so your miners making in there don't forget the miners actually have really good stat buffs as you can see Stan there with 1000 health you can also see to Pring with 1000 defense and you'll see Barrett here in just a little bit with his attack those rares are some of the earliest officers that you can get that can start maxing you out so let's move on to the next sheet which is Stan, Cadet Kirk, Next Gen Data, Kang, Gorkhan, Jayla, Jean-Luc Picard, 710, TOS Kirk, Pike, DuPont, Sulu, and Moreau. So once again, that list still needs to be updated because since away missions, we got to really go back and look, okay, what is worth putting more value in now? But if you're watching this video, I'm going to give you the full list of everybody that is worth maxing, and then I'm going to point out some of the high profile ones to really focus on. But let's do it with Epics first, 5 of 10. 6 of 10, 10 of 10. Those three, stat-wise and use-wise, extremely important to max. Kirk, Gorkon, Nero. Easiest to start working on early in game. Definitely provide you some good stats. Even if you don't use Nero that often in your game, in terms of armadas, PvP, doesn't matter. 
away missions. You got to start thinking about this as these can have some great payouts. Lorca, Charvenik, Giorgio in that list, Khan, and then rounding it out with Crass, Kang, Marcus, Charvenik. So there's your list of epics. In fact, if we sort by rarity here in the screen, we can scroll down to the bottom and basically you see most of them here where you've got Pike is not necessarily worth maxing, but Carol, good stat one. I like Carol. Probably not a focus for me, but she is good. Marcus, Kang, Charvenik, definitely. Nero, Gorkon, Kirk, definitely. Khan, definitely. 5 of 10, definitely. 6 of 10, 10 of 10, definitely. TOS Kirk, even, if you can find a way to start sourcing those shards. Very important to start working on those. Let's move on over to the rares. Bones, Harrison. Harrison, obviously, impossible to do without paying, but just as a note. Tau, also laughable. No chance for that right now. Yuki, Spock. 2 of 10, Tyler, DC, Astan, Tapring, Pan, Barrett, Navi, Rima. Now, the rares are definitely the easiest, especially for a free-to-play player. Uh, Rima, Pan, and Navi, like you see here on the back of the screen, very easy to start working on upgrading and also provide some decent stats for away missions, even if you don't use them a lot. Maxing them out, using those on your domination events will help you greatly. The miners of Barrett, Tapring, and Stan definitely worth maxing out if for no other reason than the stat uh, boost that you get. Maybe not necessarily for the ability of Barrett, which still to this day, <laughs> but right now, looking at it from a stat perspective, there's some, some attack stats that you can stack that provide a lot for you in the game. Then we've got uh, Decius, who's a great player in the game. Not as much as an attack officer as he used to be, but still good. Stat-wise, good, though. Yuki, both for away mission stats, also for usability in the game. Extremely good officer. The only uncommon that I have listed of you max and you spend everything to get these stats up, which even then, the stats don't technically matter, but we're just talking about maxing her, and you will spend a badge on that. Chin. Getting her max simply because that really changes your game from PvE. And then finally, the commons, which aren't badges but still important. Talon, uh, Gala is really important to do. Don't know why Gala didn't make my list uh, before. But Cadet Scotty for the warp range, Cadet McCoy, Cadet Kirk, uh, you know, Cadet Uhura, the TNG LaForge, TNG Crusher, those are very important for early game players so they can max those out and have their hostile grinding be a little bit easier. But there is the list. Hopefully it helps. There's a lot of names there. And if I had to give you a ranking on the top ones to focus on, it's easy. Focus early on your game on the epics that start. Kirk, Gorkon, Nero, and I would include Khan in that. Those are the easiest. Start working on those first. Get those maxed out. You can use them even if you don't use them in PvP or Armadas. could be used for away missions. And then for the rares... Bones, Spock, definitely important. Yuki, but remember, sourcing can be difficult. And then you look at other officers like Stan, Tapring, Barrett. Mining officers, very important to go after. And then Barrett, I'm sorry, uh, Navi, Rima, and Pan. Those are three that you've got to do in the augment tree. Those are my focuses early on. Focus on those, work on those. And there's been a lot of information in this video, I know. Hopefully it helps. And if you have a lot of questions, which I'm sure you probably do, hit me up below and I'll help you out. Live long and prosper. Stay safe, other space cowboys. Apologies for the long video. This is a very in-depth topic, especially now. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Looks like this. Leave your comments, and we'll catch you on the flippity flip. Deuces. That's me. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah. Woo!